good morning everybody uh, at the outset i thank uh, the organizers of suryakan uh, for having invited me on this occasion this morning i am really thankful to the organizers and uh, thanks to everyone uh, uh, let me put it this way the climate is changing there is no denying fact uh if you know that the forests are the major sink of carbon once upon a time the forests are being looked at as the entity for generating revenue so a lot of harvesting was taking place in the forest areas those are the era that is called the production forest was in full force but as you may be knowing because it is slightly linked that's why i'm just giving a brief of the background uh in early 90s there were interventions from the uh, apex court of india as a result what happened there was a blanket ban on the green felling as a forest officer i would like to say that though this is not scientifically correct and it is not a healthy thing not to harvest the forest but that was the need of the hour the rate at which we were felling our forest it was really dwindling and it was having a great threat on the human kind so there was no other uh, options left but the court had to intervene and there was a blanket ban on the forest on the working of the forest so the mode of forest management shifted from production forestry to protection forestry the production forestry took the back seat and protection forestry was there in the forefront as a result what happened the court did not say you don't work the forest they said you have to have a working plan in place so that you can harvest the forest as per the prescription provided there in the working plan and that working plan earlier days also working plan was there but the working plan used to be approved by the state government the principal chief conservator of forest or the head of the department of the forest he used to approve the working plan but the court order was here or not the working plan is need is required to be approved by the court only as a forest officer of course we are really criticizing this decision we did not accept the fact that yes why the forest need uh, need not be work but today 20 years down the line i am realizing the fact that our country has made a commitment before the world community to combat uh, climate change to negate the effect of climate change how uh, we have a great commitment and uh, it gives me immense pleasure to share it with you all uh, that in 90 our forest used to be the carbon source and as a result of the interventions from the apex court and all the legal issues the carbon source turned out to be carbon sink so it started absorbing carbon dioxide so it became carbon sink but the aggressiveness with which we have made commitment before the world community that yes we are going to reduce the greenhouse gases we are going to uh, uh, take active part in climate change mitigation process uh, and the commitment that we have made till 2030 even if our forests have turned from carbon source to carbon sink still up, up to 2030 whatever commitment we have made we are falling short by around 30 to 35% we can't meet even if we forest all the forested area if we enrich all the existing forest area if the non forest area vacant land available in case we take it for afforestation reforestation still we can't meet the target we are still falling short by 30 35% that is one of the reason why this solar energy is one of the very dear subject to our honorable prime minister every time we go for the conference the target is increased every time we go for any meeting the target is enhanced if you look at the target for chandigarh also i think same is the scenario if you go by data of chandigarh 
so far we have already installed 31 megawatt roughly little more than 31 rather and in last one year itself from 21 we have jumped from 21 to 31 just last one year from september to september it was 21 in last september 2018 now it is 31 and we have to meet a target of 69 that is on paper but pressure is always you max, uh, try to achieve as much as possible. So far the solar, uh, rooftop solar in private sector is concerned. Out of 31, almost like 12, 13 megawatt we have achieved on the rooftop of the private buildings. And this year alone we have got another target of 15 megawatt. We asked for more and we got 15. My point is, Though we are landlocked uh, city, though we have got constraints of land resources in our uh, UT in the city of Chandigarh, but the scope is very vast. The commitment that we have made to the government of India, sometimes I fear whether we can achieve that or not. Though we have got space, we should have the capacity also. We should have the capacity. Here the, comes the role of you all. You have already done well in the past. You have made this Chandigarh proud, not only in India, but before the World Forum also. We have made a footprint in the international conferences also for our achievement that we have uh, made in uh, last four, five years. Though initially there was some teething problem, but last four, five years, whatever achievement we have made, definitely we have uh, left some foot footprint in the world uh, forum. I think same thing we will have to carry it forward. Uh, my colleague uh, Mr. Mukhya Sanandi is there. Uh, he will be speaking about how, what is our plan, how we are going to uh, turn out to be a UT with 100% RE, what is the present uh, position and how we are going to achieve, what is the roadmap ahead of us. I think if you all do not join hands with the government, the government alone cannot we can only plan the thing, we can only formulate the policies. It is only you people who have to come forward, you have to join hands so that we can make it a reality. And not only for uh, this city, but for mankind, I would say. The new scheme is already approved, it is already rolled out by Government of India. There is slight changes in the uh, new scheme that we have to any policy decision of the government of India, we have to respect, we have to accept and with that we have to go ahead with our programs also. So with these few opening remarks, I thank you all again and wish you all the best for the conference. I think at the end of the day, we will definitely come out with some good commitment after the conference and we will make this city really proud. Thank you very much.